Um, the first message that I'm getting for you guys is this is a week for you to work on your finances. There's a lot of work to do. There's also, for those of you who are self-employed, a lot of options that are going to be on the table. And I feel like you might be inundated with so many work career opportunities and options and clients and things like that, that you have to be smart with your time. You have to like realize who's sincere and who's not. So for example, if you are doing sales, right? Um, some people are just calling around for quotes and they're not really serious in uh, securing your services. But they're going to come across like, oh, I'm totally interested. And then you spend a lot of time with them and then you realize that they're not 100% committed, right? And so it's really important to like follow the leads that will actually generate something or that will come to fruition rather than following dead leads. Does that make sense? So for those in sales, for those working on a contract basis, for those that are dealing with clients, just make sure... Um, I see some really, really wealthy clients that are coming in, but they're going to drag their feet. So in the meantime, don't focus on these clients exclusively and think that, oh, you know, you know these are the big fish or these are the big portfolios that we need to land. Focus on the little guys. Focus on the people that are sincere, that need your services, that are in dire situations, because those are the ones that are going to generate the, the right connections and they will... Um, uh, commit to your services okay so that's just kind of like a little bit of a warning financially this is a very very good month and also this is a good week for you to get everything in order I feel like for many of you you have uh, shed away a lot of negativity in your life overall um, toxic relationships family um, expectations even with this devil card in the reverse letting the right um, letting the, the wrong people go from your life so that you can focus your energy elsewhere and especially focusing your energy on the work front, okay? So the energy for this week is all about work and finances and pulling back your energy, especially from the love relationship department so that you can get yourself centered and grounded and to get yourself to do what you need to do in order to succeed in your own life. And the reason why I mentioned this first is because the love reading is not looking too hot, okay? Um, I feel like there has been a recent separation here with the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is sort of like a situation possibly where there are three people involved or a situation that um, it, it like affected your self-esteem. And... As a water sign, whenever you love somebody, as a fixed sign as well, when you love, you love very, very deeply. You love with every fiber of your being and you would give the other person, you know, uh, your heart. And it's like, it's very deep, it's very mature, it's very sincere. So I feel like there was somebody that you love very, very deeply. I have a very strong Sagittarius energy here. Um, and a very strong Capricornian energy and also air sign. So Sagittarius, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra with this magician energy and also Capricorn. And what this tells me is you're picking up the pieces of your life. You're still dealing with this separation. You're still reeling from the impact that this had on you. And I feel like it might have come, come on very suddenly it was something that was like kind of unexpected and I feel like it destabilized you. It made you feel like it, it, it's like so sudden that it was unexpected and you're still trying to, you know, recalibrate. You're still trying to find your footing. You're still trying to move on. Okay. And what you're doing right now as the magician is you're trying to date, you're trying to manifest the right person, you're trying to pick up the pieces and move on and be strong and, you know, get out there and, and things like that. With the magician energy, this is telling you, you are a really good catch, okay? You're smart, you're intelligent, you're conscientious, and as a water sign, you're very, very loving, and you deserve somebody that is going to be as devoted and as, you know, um, that will reciprocate whatever you bring to the table. All of those tools at your disposal, that's what you're bringing to the table. And you need to find somebody that is going to match you, okay? So this is really the time for you to 
realize and come into your own sense of I'm a really good catch. I just need to find somebody that is on par with me, that wants the same things out of life, that have my same values and that will, you know, cultivate a relationship or cultivate a life with me. So I feel like you're coming into this sense of like, yes, this hurts, but I'm finding my footing again. And I'm also seeing testing the waters, going out, communicating with new people, turning into a new, uh, turning over a new leaf. And, um, dating new people so there's contact there's communication there's um there's like this is a card about contact so like waiting on communication and finally receiving communication okay i feel like you're trying to get communication from a specific person with the high priestess in the reverse this is kind of like somebody that's holding back they could be holding back secrets. They could be holding back information. They could be just not communicating. So I feel like, yes, there's communication coming in, but there's a specific person that's kind of holding back from you. And we have here as well the um, strength card. And the strength card is like, don't push it. Be patient. Practice this. Uh, the energy of this card, temperance. Because I feel like somebody is holding back information from you, and I feel that it has nothing to do with you. It's just the emperor. Um, I'm sorry, the high priestess in the reverse. It's like they're destabilized. They're dealing with their own things, and communication and contact might not be coming in just yet because they're not ready to to talk. They're not ready for that um, communication. Okay. Um, this is a big singles card, the magician. This is somebody who's dating, who's like um, looking at multiple options, still trying to, you know, find the right one. They're fixated on finding the right one. But in the meantime, it's like if the right one's not here, I'll just play around. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as, you know, you're straightforward about it. So I don't see things here that are bad. I just feel like if you're dating people, they might want... Uh, to be more serious with you than you are with them. And I feel like you're still dealing, recoiling from this heartache. So you might just want to have fun. And they're a little bit more serious. They want that family. They want that union. They want that commitment. And I feel like they're playing it cool, but it seems like they're more invested in you than you are in them, which is if we're looking at things as a zero-sum game, that's that puts you in a good spot, right? So if you're not serious, you should tell them that you're not as serious, okay? So let's not lead people on, okay? But I, I definitely feel like there's communication coming through. And I also feel as well, you're trying to move on with your life, which is really good. So because of this portion of the reading, I'm inclined to say, you know, really focus on your career, focus on uh, self-employment, focus on whatever it is you need to do to get yourself better again, okay? To overcome financial difficulties, the um, devil card is like being stuck to money, um, needing to pay the bills, needing to... Um, needing to get your life together so that you're not stuck in a job that you hate just because it pays the bills. So I feel like there's opportunities for you to expand outside of this current work situation and it's really telling you um, to like take up new opportunities, new clients, because you're capable of making a lot more money and you're capable of doing a lot more in general. Um, I'm going to pull out a few extra cards for you because I don't like to see this. The Three of Swords. It seems painful. So let's clarify. What is that in relations to? Okay, so there's a, a big kind of like, like a WTF, like what exactly happened? Okay, you're kind of left in the dark, like what exactly happened? Do I move on or are they coming back? Do I move on or are they, are they coming back? Are they coming back for me? Do I stay put or do I move on with my love life? Do I entertain other options that are opening up for me or should I wait for them? So this is kind of like this uh, limbo state that you're in, keeping yourself um, stuck 
because you don't have clarity and because you don't have all the information that you need. So somebody is definitely holding back on information. Um, you might have been dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that talks big, like they, they, they make promises. And in the reverse, it's like they're not able to follow through. Um, you might have been dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. When it's in the reverse position, they're not telling you the truth about something. And this is a connection. This is somebody who's like very cold, very, very distant. And as a water sign, honestly, as a water sign, you need somebody who's a little bit warmer, who's a little bit more emotionally expressive. And so this energy might not have been right for you, okay? So I definitely feel like pain and heartache coming in from an air sign. And it's left you in a, uh, a space of like, what exactly happened? What do I do? How do I move forward? Do I move forward? Are they coming back? And I would say with the judgment card, this is like new beginnings that are coming in for you. So I don't feel like they're going to be coming back into the picture, unfortunately. Okay. So not a great reading on the love front, but finances and work, it's really picking up. So, you know, get rid of this energy and just focus on this. Okay. I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys, uh, Scorpios, and please take care of yourself and I wish you the best.